welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom domains and contact emails to your system.io website. A custom domain allows you to have your entire website branded and have a unique URL. For example, something like www.simplywhitedesign.com is a custom domain. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put links and resources in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful, please like and subscribe so I can keep creating for you guys. You're going to log into your system.io account and make sure that you have already purchased your domain name from your domain provider. You can use only domains or Namecheap is a really good one or even Google domains. So you can come over to the right hand side and click on settings and then scroll down on the left hand side to custom domains. Now you can see here that I've already got some branded domains that I've added in here and they look a lot nicer than the system.io default domain that comes with the account. The custom domains are so much easier to remember and it just does a lot for your brand and it's really easy to be able to keep things organized rather than having just a bunch of numbers in there. So to add a domain, you're going to click on the right hand side in the plus button and click add domain. And then whatever it is the domain name that you bought, you're going to add it into here. I've already added my domains in here quite a few times. so. Just go ahead and do your own one now and I will just show you what the setup looks like in my domains. So when you have inserted your domain, it will save and it will come up with these instructions here. So this is a DNS configuration. Don't get confused by all of the jargon that gets used. It's really super simple. All we're basically going to be doing is copying information from here and pasting it into your domain name so that the two systems can connect and talk to each other. So what I highly recommend that you do along with this video is also click on this article about how to set up your custom domain from system.io because there are specific instructions that just help you really easily that I like to always have open and and sometimes in different domains what you copy and where you paste it can be slightly different but this is the exact information and how to copy it and I always just find highlighting this and having it open just keeps it easy and simple for you. So this is a CNAME record that we're going to be entering into your domain which is the host is always www. Then the target value, this is where we're pointing, is going to be this information here. Now just bear in mind these, these instructions are just test instructions. You're gonna be copying from your system.io account. And then the second C name is again, just another set of numbers and the target value where you just copy and paste, okay? So let's copy and paste our first C name record into our, um, our domain account. So you come to your information that was here. So this is your custom domain. So we don't we can copy this information here. So it's just the www. So we copy that. And I'm going to come to my only domains. So whatever domain provider it is that you're using. So I'm just going to go my domains. And I'm just going to click on here. And you're just going to look for however you can change the records, the DNS records in your domain provider. So I've got DNS settings up here and I can collect edit. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of, um, you know, tools and stuff like that already like available to me in my account with only domains. But sometimes different domains are different, have different setups, but you just want to look for the DNS settings. So you can see here that here is the information that we're going to be, you know, the, where the inputs are. So I'm going to copy and paste my www, then I'm going to go to CNAME, and I'll come back over to my dashboard, and I will copy that whole information there, and then I will paste it in. And then I would hit add. I've already got it in here, so I'm not going to save it, but you would just add that record. And then all you would do is do the same thing for the next one. So you come to your uh, system.io. Now remember in the, in the instructions, this is why it makes it a little bit simpler to understand. The second one, it's just the numbers, okay? So you don't need to copy anything else. That's why it's good to have the instructions open, just so you can like, you know, make sure that you copy the right things. So 
you copy those and those numbers right there you do not need that information after you don't need your domain information so you would copy that you come back to your domain obviously you would add in a new record and you would paste that information in make sure that it says C name then you come back over to your dashboard and you copy this whole thing so I copy that whole thing now I always just make sure and I check and I'm like yep it is all that information so I make sure and I copy yep all that information so then I come back to only domains and I would paste it in there and I would add it and I would save it once you have added and saved your domain in here you just come back to system.io and you will get a status update so you can see here that these are all ready to go now it will say pending it can be pending with that status for up to 72 hours so just bear in mind it takes a while to tick over there won't be anything wrong in your account it's just different domain providers have different sort of refresh times if you have problems with connection or anything like that highly recommend just getting in touch with your domain provider to make sure that you've copied the information correctly and they will instruct you further in system.io, you also need to add in your email address of where you're going to be sending all your marketing material from. So to do that, because you've set up your domain, this is going to be really easy now. You're just going to go to settings and you're going to come to emails on the left hand side. And then you're going to be able to enter your email address. So I've already entered one in. When you do that, all you're basically doing is entering in the email address that you have. You save that and it will say pending. Because what system.io will do is send you a confirmation email. And all you need to do is verify it by clicking here. And it will verify that you actually own that email address and that everything is actually going to be verified. So you can see here now that it is verified and it's that simple. Now there's one other place that I wanted to show you about um, putting in your email address and contact forms and things like that. So when you have a contact form on your blog or any kind of form that you put into system.io you can choose where the emails go to so how you do that is by coming back into your custom domains and you select these three little dots and you click on settings and you just scroll down and you can see here that it says email addresses for the contact us form submissions so you don't actually have you you just put your email address in there and or if you've got like a client's email address you put it in there and that just ensures that automatically those contact forms will all that information will be sent to that email address so I'm just going to show you an example here on the contact page that I've got here and I'll show you the reason why you needed to put your email address in there when you click on contact there's actually nowhere for you to go oh I want to send it to this email address so when you click on it there's no way to input your email address and be like oh, I want to send it to that email address you have to do it in the custom domain hey guys so if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you